Have you seen videos about data analyst jobs, talking about how awesome it is? The salaries are high, you can often work from home, and it's easy to get a job even as a beginner. Today, we're going to be serious and talk about the reality. Now, is it still worth becoming a data analyst, or is it just too competitive? Is it going to be replaced by AI? Or is the job not as good as people actually think? We're going to start with a breakdown of the job responsibilities, and then we'll talk about salaries, job outlook and future growth, as well as job satisfaction and how real data analysts feel about their jobs. Finally, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this job, and I'm not going to hold back in this video at all. So drop a like and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Now, there are some key responsibilities that you'll usually have as a data analyst, but it's also going to depend on the company that you work for. Let us take a look at the Google Data Analytics Certificate. It is one of the most popular data analytics courses out there, and their curriculum is actually following something called the Data Analytics Lifecycle. So if we look at the curriculum, we can actually see the different activities that a data analyst would do. We'll start at course two because course one is just foundational course. And here you can see that it's all about asking questions to make data driven decisions. And that is really important because before we're able to solve any problem or before we're able to do any useful work, we need to know why we're doing what we're doing and what the problem is that we're trying to solve. That is why you need to ask proper questions and find out what the objectives are as soon as possible. To do this, you'll need to communicate with stakeholders, which can be people in your company, it can be your boss, your clients, and so on. And this part is actually really significant, and it's not just about working with data, but this setup can take a lot of time as well. Next, we have prepared data for exploration. And now that we know what we're trying to do, we need to find the right data and gather it so that we're able to make it useful in the future somehow. In the next step, we have to process data from dirty to clean. And that is because the data that we've collected is probably not in the best format for analysis or for use. Perhaps there are even more issues with the data itself, which completely makes it unusable. And the objective here is basically to turn it into something that we can actually use and analyze. And this brings us to our next step, which is analyze data to answer our questions. Next, share data through the art of visualization. So if you've been analyzing something and then you actually gather these insights, then you want to make sure that these can be spread and shared in the best possible way to the right people that actually need this information. To do this, you'll have to create effective data visualizations. And finally, we have the data analysis with R programming. Now, R is just one of many different tools that you can use to accomplish your work as a data analyst, so it doesn't have to be specifically R. All right, so now we already covered the basics of the role. Let us get into all the specific details and the pros and cons and everything you need to know. The salary of a data analyst in the US is around 80,000 per year. On the low end, we have about 59,000, and on the high end, about 120,000. Now, the salaries can vary a lot depending on your location, your company, and your experience. And I actually think this estimate is a little bit high compared to what I've seen on some other websites, but it's around the 70, 80,000 per year range. I've also seen some people in the comments that are making 60K per year and other people that are making 150. And it's actually crazy how big the salary differences can be. I mean, we're only talking about the US, so this is all in the same country. Now, perhaps even more important is the job outlook and how the jobs are going to look like in the future. Will the job market be very competitive or will there be enough jobs for people available? And here's where it becomes a little bit difficult because there are a lot of jobs available if you are very experienced and there is a high demand for data professionals in general and the field's growing pretty fast. I mean, it's really, really important, but not necessarily at the entry level, which creates a problematic situation for many people. Now, let me show you some real stats instead. This is from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics focusing on the data scientist role. Now, I know that this is not a data analyst specific, but I just want to show you how the data field is growing in general. And as you can see by the description, the objective of these two roles are very similar. They use analytical tools and techniques to extract meaningful insights from data. So pretty similar to a data analyst. For the data scientist role, you can see that the typical entry level education is a bachelor's degree. And that is the same for the data analyst role, but you can also get a job without one. It's just going to be a lot easier with a degree because companies value degrees. Whether you think degrees are good or you think they're overrated, Let's just be honest about that, that especially at the entry level jobs, companies really value it. Now, when it comes to the job outlook, we can see a projected growth of 35% from 2022 to 32. And this is absolutely insane and much faster than average. We're going to talk more about this when we get to the downsides, because it does not include things like competition and how hard it actually is to get a job. 
Now let's talk about whether people are actually happy or how they're feeling about their data analyst job. And I don't think that it's enough to talk about salaries because there's so many different things to take into account for job satisfaction. According to Payscale, data analysts rated their job 3.8 out of 5 according to 1700 responses. This is very good and data analysts are generally highly satisfied with their jobs. But I read some of the reviews more in detail and one common pattern that I found was that people were generally happy with their job responsibilities. In some cases they thought that it was a little bit stressful, but it wasn't something that came up too often. I did find that there was one issue though. People were not always that happy about their salaries. And we talked about salaries and if you compare it to most jobs, it's actually pretty good. But if you compare it for, for example, a data engineer, a data scientist or other really technical data roles, then the salary isn't actually that high. And this is also one of the reasons why some people might transition into other data roles later. Speaking about that, let's talk about the different career paths. So here on Payscale, they show three main career paths after becoming a data analyst. But of course, there are many, many, many options. So here you can either become a senior data analyst and then go from there. You can also go the manager route, which is also a little bit similar, but you can also transition into a data scientist role or something like that. To do so, you may have to learn more skills, but there are also many skills that overlap and your experience is going to be valuable on your resume for many of the other data roles as well. Now we're finally at the most important section of this video, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons. But before we get into it, I just want to put out the disclaimer here that these are not my experiences, but rather I investigated what other people think. I've read a lot of reviews, gone through discussion topics and forums, and just in general gathered things that people find to be pros and cons of this job. And these are really, really important things that you should know before you get started. And if you don't know them, then you might end up going down the wrong path and doing something that's a terrible option for you. So let's check it out. Starting with the pros, it's generally known to be a very interesting job as it involves, you know, constant learning and skill development. It is also a job that is in high demand across many different industries, so you can work for a company that you like and do something that you find interesting. It is also a job that you can technically do from home, although not all companies offer that, of course. And the salaries are also pretty good, especially when you get to more senior levels or become a manager. And you can also transition into many other roles with the skills that you gain and the experience that you also gain in the process. Now, let's talk about some of the cons and some reasons why some people should not become data analysts. And I'm saying some people because everything does not apply to everyone. If I say that a job is intense, then some people are going to say, that's awesome. I like intense environments. So it's all up to you and who you are. But now let's get into what is often considered to be some of the downsides of this job. The first one is that it can be stressful due to deadlines and working with different clients and stakeholders. And it can also be more communication than some people might think. If you assume that you're just going to be digging into data all day, then you might be really unpleasantly surprised when you have to be in meetings and really dig deep and communicate and understand requirements to actually move forward with the project. It can also be pretty competitive. The data analyst role has really been promoted as this not so technical yet still a high paying tech job and it's led a lot of people to wanting to become data analysts. Now there are a lot of jobs out there but it can be pretty competitive especially at the entry level. Technologies are also changing and it does require continuous learning and upskilling and for some people that's fantastic. I think you should never stop learning but it's important to keep that in mind. I also want to say that it's important that you don't get discouraged or encouraged by somebody on YouTube. It's up to you to make your own decisions, do your own research and see if this job is something for you. But if you do want to become a data analyst, then I think you should check out this video over here, or I have no idea where it is, but somewhere on the screen. And it's one of my most popular videos that I made for aspiring data analysts. So check it out wherever it is, and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.